Hello, and welcome to Secured Signings, How to Prepare for a Remote Online Notarization Session. In this session, we will guide you through the steps that you need to know when performing an RON session with Secured Signings All-in-One eNotary Platform. These include selecting your documents, scheduling your RON meeting, adding clients and the notary, the electronic notary journal, tagging the document with relevant signature fields. Okay, let's begin. Log in to your secured signing account. Click the orange notary wizard button. Now you will be guided by the notary wizard. As you can see, all steps are numbered on the left. Your current step will be highlighted to you in blue. Step one of the preparation process begins with selecting your documents. Do you want to send multiple documents, package for signatures, or will you be sending a single document? Select Yes, Enable Package if you are sending multiple documents. Otherwise, select No for a single document. Select the document or documents you would like to use, either from your local computer storage or from your secured signing inbox folder. Check Document List will now display all of the documents that you wish to notarize. If everything is OK, click Next. Step 2. Now to schedule your RON meeting. First, you will need to enable RON. Please note that all options are set to their defaults based on the eNotary settings you choose when you set up your eNotary account. Schedule an online notarization session using the calendar box provided by choosing a date and time for the meeting. Once selected, click Apply. For the identity proofing and credential analysis methods, we recommend using both KBA for identity proofing and ID verification for credential analysis. Secured signing also gives you the option to select personal knowledge or credible witness. Personal knowledge can be used when you've identified a signee previously. This option transfers all responsibility for ID proofing and credential analysis to the notary public. The credible witness option can be used when someone the notary public trust can verify the signee's identity. If you check this option, you must enter the witness full name and their ID. Once you have chosen your identity proofing and credential analysis methods, click Next. Step 3. Add your client details or invitees. Fill out the client details email address first name, last name, and authentication type for meeting RON requirements in many states. We recommend selecting here both KBA and ID verification. Please note that you can add more clients or witnesses by clicking an Add Invitee. For the notary details, the options available are based on registered, secured signing accounts that you have ownership of. All other fields for the notary are filled out automatically. Once you are happy with both client and notary details, click Next. Step 4. Now to set up your electronic notary journal. First, to use the electronic notary journal, check Use Electronic Notary Journal. Document title will be pre-filled based on the documents you have uploaded at the Select Your Document section. Choose the type of notarization being performed. Select types from the drop-down list. If Other is selected, simply write in the notary type. Choose your notary fee. This is entirely up to you and how much you are charging your client or invitee for your notarization service. Principal details will be pre-filled based on your answers in the Add Clients and Notary section. If you are happy, click Start. Step 5. Once your document has loaded, you will arrive at the Document Tagging stage, where you will prepare the document with all relevant signature fields required for signing. First, Add your invitee's signature. Click the Add Invitee's Signature drop-down menu and select your invitee from the menu. Your invitee's signature will now appear in green on your document. Simply drag the signature to place it where you would like it on the document. Resize it as you see fit. On the left, you will have a settings box where you can adjust the signature properties shown when your invitee signs. Now that you have your invitee's signature where you want them, it's time to add the e-notary seal and signature. Click Add e-notary signature and select the eNotary user. Next, select eNotary Signature. Follow the same steps as adding your invitee to place your signature on your document. In the Settings box, you can check Date, Time, and Name, which will be displayed as visible text along with your eNotary signature. Once you have the eNotary signature placed where you want it, add your eNotary seal to the document. Click Add eNotary Seal and select the eNotary user. Next, select eNotary Seal. Follow the same steps you learned earlier to place the eNotary seal where you want it on the document. When you are happy with all the signatures and their placements, click Next at the top of your screen. 
Now that you have completed the five steps in preparing for an RON session, you will confirm the invitation workflow. This will determine how the signing procedure will be conducted and give you a chance to double check all the information that you have provided. There are three tabs that you can see under the Confirm Invitation Workflow title, Settings, More Features, and Electronic Notary Journal. First, we will confirm the invitation workflow in Settings. Select a due date when the document has to be signed by. The default is set within seven days. This date should be after the date set for the RON meeting. Check the Sequential box to preserve the order in which the document needs to be signed. Ensure the Enable Video Signing box is checked. Check that the selected date and time is correct. If not, simply click the calendar field and update it as required. Next, you want to check your invitees. The first invitees that will appear will be your client. Check that all their details are correct. Email, first and last name, the authentication process that they must take, and ensure video signing is checked. This process allows you to fix and update the email address, names, and set a new date for the RON meeting. Once you are happy with the information provided, Scroll down or click and drag the slider on the right. Check if both the eNotary details and the video signing host is the same as the eNotary. If everything is correct, we will move on to the next section, which is More Features. Click Next. Here you can view or manage additional video signing guests. These guests will not be signing the document, but are able to join the meeting as a guest. If you would like to add a guest, simply click View, Manage, Add and enter in the guest's email, first and last name, and click Add. If there are no additional changes, we will move on to the final section of the Electronic Notary Journal. Click Next. In this section, ensure that all of the details are correct. You want to check that you have Use Electronic Notary Journal checked, the document title, type of notarization and notary fee is correct, and the principal details are all correct. If these are correct, or you've made all additional changes, you are ready to send the document. Click Send. Once you have clicked Send, an email will be sent to all parties. If KBA and ID verification were selected to authenticate the client, they will need to complete these before the RON process can proceed to the document being signed. Everything has been completed on your end, and now all you have to do is wait for the authentication to be completed and the video signing meeting to commence at its scheduled date. Now you are all set up and ready to conduct your first RON session. Thank you for watching Secured Signings, How to Prepare for an RON Session. For more information, visit our website.